Hello, this is Mark Sewell, Assistant Chief Financial Officer for the City of Oxnard. And this is a presentation to the Finance and Governance Committee regarding revisions to the City's Procurement Ordinance. The recommendation is that the Finance and Governance Committee recommends that the City Council introduce an amendment to the City's Procurement Ordinance in preparation for launch of the core financials phase of Tyler Muniz. The City's Procurement Ordinance was adopted on June the 19th, 2018, and it defines the rules for all City procurement processes. The recommendation is to amend the approval authority within the ordinance to align with municipal best practices and to align with new modern system functionality as a result of the City's multi-year investment in a new ERP system. The changes are in the main in three folds. One, to amend the purchasing agent's approval authority for annual dollar limit per vendor from $100,000 to zero. Two, to amend the city department manager approval authority for annual dollar limit per vendor from zero to $50,000. And three, to amend the city department director approval authority from an annual dollar limit per vendor from $5,000 to $100,000. These changes are recommended for approval authority for all contracts, purchase orders, change orders, and task orders, other than than for real property, which remains the same. The table on the slide shows the current and recommended annual approval limits per vendor for a citywide procurement. The recommendation to transfer the $100,000 approval authority from the purchasing agent within the finance department to department directors aligns with the budgetary responsibility department directors have for meeting the goals and the objectives as set by them by the city council. There are no other changes to any approval limits for the city manager, for public work projects, or for City Council recommended as part of this change. It is noted that all procurements would still be required to be reviewed and approved by the purchasing agent to ensure compliance to all relevant policies. These changes are recommended because it's an opportunity to update the ordinance to leverage the new system functionality of the ERP system that's being implemented. The new ERP system has centralized purchasing which enables reporting and review of all transactions by vendors, irrespective of which department is using them. It has electronic cross-functional approval processes, meaning that the transactions are entered and approved within departments, and they are reviewed and approved by other departments, such as risk management, city attorney, IT, and finance. The system tracks and logs all actions by users and is fully auditable. Electronic document storage is standard and required as part of all procurements, whereby the city can add all billing documents, justification, insurance documents, and any other items pertinent to that procurement along through the approval processes and after completion of the transaction for audit purposes. Each procurement item is subject to an automated budget check, meaning that no purchase activity can occur that exceeds the council approved budget. And finally, there is enhanced and consolidated citywide vendor reporting and transaction reporting to improve the performance of and monitoring against policies. The transfer of the approval for the use of city funds to the operating departments it aligns with the responsibility for the service delivery to the community. This change will increase operational efficiency as part of the move towards the new modern ERP system with automated budget checking and electronic approval routing. So the recommendation again is that the Finance and Governance Committee recommend to the City Council to introduce an amendment to the City's Procurement Ordinance in preparation for the launch of the core financials phase of Tyler Muniz. 
Thank you.